Please subscribe and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, IG, or YouTube. You can also listen to our podcast on iTunes, iHeartRadio, Spotify, or wherever you listen to your podcast. Our guest today is um, someone not new to Lewis and I. Um, I've known him my whole life. He was there from the beginning. Um, he was my first role model, idol, uh, trendsetter. Uh, I thought he was the coolest guy until I found out he really wasn't that cool. <laughs> and it's my big brother, uh, Kirk Williams. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Kirk. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, the reason we're here today and the story we want to tell, we're going to discuss the, uh, the journey that my brother's uh, been going through or has gone through, uh, unbeknownst to a lot of people or some they may know of, especially just by looking at him. Uh, my brother's been battling the journey of MS better known as uh, multiple sclerosis. We will um, we'll go in more depth into that later, but um, now we just want to kind of get some background and let us know where you, a um, little bit of background, where you're from, and, and um, tell okay. us your background. Story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm originally from Georgetown, <clears throat> uh, South Carolina, born and raised there. And then, you know, I um, went off to Clemson University, got my degree in uh, entomology, and today I am a Navy entomologist. Okay. Um, I um, ended up moving to Charleston right after uh, I got out of the, got out of college, and right about I want to say 2001 is when I was first diagnosed with the MS. Okay. Okay. Before um, well, before we go into that, okay, um, kind of let us know. Um, as far as you said, you were going into entomology. Mm -hmm. Tell tell us Sue, what is exactly um, entomology is. That's right. Oh uh, yeah, entomology basically is the study of insects. Okay. Yeah. And as far as in a normal day, um, <laughs> how often do you have to explain if somebody somebody asks you what the hell entomology is? Every every <laughs> second. Every <laughs> second. Someone asks me what entomology is, and when I say I'm an entomologist, yeah. I have to explain that ninety percent of the time. Okay. And the ten percent that know about it, yeah. Oh, they got a lot of questions and they <laughs> yeah, all <yeah>. enthuse. <laughs> so, what attracted you to that uh, that that major? Uh, what what exactly was it? And when did you know you wanted to be? Yeah. See, um, our father was a, a Clemson Extension agent, and his job was to go out to the farmers mm -hmm. and tell them what was wrong with the crops. Okay. And um, like you talk a little loud into the mic. Okay. Also, yeah, his job was to tell them um, what was wrong with the crops. Whether it was you know insect issues or maybe uh, disease problem or even uh, some nutrients uh, okay. issues. And so my father had all these um, science books uh, around the house. And one day I picked up an entomology book, and I read it, and I gave it back to my dad, and I told him I liked that book. And he said, you know, you can major in entomology. I was like, you can? He's like, yeah. Mm -hmm. So at age 10, I decided I wanted to be an entomologist. Wow. And that's how it all begun. Okay. So I was fortunate enough to have a <clears throat> parent to actually support me mm -hmm. instead of, uh, like my friends, it's like, what you going to do with that major, man? <laughs> I would have been one of those guys. <laughs> yeah. You definitely had to explain it to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How are you going to make money being an entomologist? <laughs> <laughs> There's one thing I can say growing up, you know, you were adventurous, you know. Yeah. Going in the woods, going into the... Oh, you um, got to bring that up, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you weren't afraid of going to the ditch, the woods, or uh -huh. going to crawl space of a house. You know, he wasn't, you know... Wasn't scared to do that. No, so. not at all. No. Not at all. No. Not at all. And as far as like, okay, how many black people have you uh, <laughs> told them you was an entomologist and they knew what you were? I would say one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, one, one, and that's because his father was one. Really? Wow. Yeah, wow. which was rare, a rare thing to find. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That work, um, because at Georgetown High School, I, I wasn't really sure at that time. They didn't have. Did you do any ag or stuff like that at Clemson? At Georgetown High School? No, no. Okay. No, I didn't do any of that. Um, but I showed <clears throat> showed up people. You know, we always discuss what we're planning on majoring in college and mm -hmm. I told people entomology and they just laugh and, <laughs> and uh and they were when we got when I met them like during our 10th year um 
reunion, high school reunion. Yeah. They were all surprised that I was actually I was actually an entomologist. I followed oh, wow. through on it. Wow. So that's all right. That's okay. So you left Georgetown, you went to Clemson. Tell me about that adjustment going from Georgetown to Clemson when you first started college. Oh man, but the thing was Georgetown is not diverse mm -hmm. at all. You know, it's pretty much black and white. We didn't I didn't have any Asian <laughs> um uh, students mm -hmm. there at the school. Um, I think we had one Hispanic guy. So Georgetown had no type of diversity. Know. Yeah, I don't remember the Hispanics, but uh, you might have been one. Of them. <laughs> we had one, and uh, un unfortunately, um, everybody called him Julio, and that was not his name. But he he, he answered to <laughs> his name. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but when I got to Clemson. I saw so much diversity. Mm -hmm. There was people from all over the world, and I really got to uh, got the chance to embrace that. Okay. And uh, yeah, I was just amazed with, with just talking to uh, so many different people from so many different backgrounds. Gotcha. And uh, this guy I met from Malaysia, he was telling me that he's going to get his degree, but it's not going to increases income and I was like so why are you going to college mm -hmm. and he was like well Kirk if I don't go home and teach my people who will mm -hmm. so I, I was amazed at how much value or different variety that other people emphasize on education wow. where most of us Americans we we look at it as a source of income right mm -hmm. means to end right yeah. Yeah. trying to get a you know get a job and everything like that so you um okay so you're at Clemson um, freshman year, sophomore year, um, you know, all you says to know that, you know, does already know that, well, you know, we're brothers of the Mega South, South fraternity. Tell us about right. your, um, decision or going into that. Yeah, yeah. When I decided to, <clears throat> to, uh, pledge the Mega South Five fraternity, basically, I was friends, um, with a lot of the guys in the fraternity mm -hmm. to start off with. So it was like that was the only fraternity I had even in mind mm -hmm. to to go ahead and pledge. And matter of fact, let me want to say that uh, yesterday was my thirty fourth year in the fr in the fraternity. Okay. Uh, arr, 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 arr. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations! Yeah, yeah, yeah. thirty four yeah. years. Thirty four years. But um, yeah, I, I decided to do that. Of course, I didn't know how. Um, how intense it was going to be. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, like, like, they really take it serious. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, man, I was glad I did it. I was glad I did it because my whole life is, is basically in, involved with the fraternity in some form or way. Now, you're going on that you um, go there at your, or did that your sophomore year. Right. Freshman, right. sophomore year. So. Yeah, I, I pledged my... Um, First semester, sophomore year. Okay. Matter of fact, when I went online, I was 18. 18. Wow. Yeah, 18 years old. And by the time I got offline, I was 19. Yeah, it was 19. Wow. Yeah. So, because I, I mean, I know how that is with us, you know, the challenges of that, you know, that adjustment of school and extracurricular activities. And yeah, school kind of fell by the wayside <laughs> doing <laughs> yeah. You just tried to survive. Yeah. 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 So how did that, did you do anything special with entomology to overcompensate that semester? Like, Well, fortunately, I was um, first semester sophomore. I was still basically taking my, my basic classes. Okay. But what I did, um, <coughs> I dropped down to 12 hours, so I wouldn't have a, a huge load. I think you needed 12 at the time to be a full-time full -time student during the semester, yeah. so that's what I ended up doing. And, uh, like I said, you you just hit play. Yeah, I was just there to play. Please subscribe and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, IG, or YouTube. You can also listen to our podcast on iTunes, iHeartRadio, Spotify, or wherever you listen to your podcasts.